Greetings YouTube. Today we're looking at a Steel Warrior by Frost Cutlerly. Now this is a low-end knife. I think I paid ten dollars for this. I knew that I purchased it knowing it was a low-end knife that so this is not a shocker to anybody. But I picked it up because of the name. This is the Coon Hunter SW101ASC from Steel Warrior. <sighs> That's a very problematic racial slur. And I understand that coon can also be short for raccoon. It's still very poor choice of words. Okay, so what do you get for this? Uh, what did the little blurb on here say? Um, six inch overall skinning knife, high quality polished stainless steel blades, nickel silver bolsters, brass pins and liners. Uh, and imported bone handle comes with genuine leather sheath. Well, that right there is a lie because this is a artificial sheath, and the sheath is nigh unuseful, useless because watch this. Yeah, that's that's snap closed, and it didn't it didn't even touch. What is it saying there? Uh, one second. Tested. To 60, 56 to 58 Rockwell. That's what it says on the blade. All right. So there you go. This doesn't, to my mind, really scream Skinner, but that's that's just me. It is very shiny. It, it's very shiny. The, the brass is very shiny. The blade is very shiny. The pins are relatively shiny. Um, the scales are relatively attractive. It comes out of the box with almost no edge at all um and again i knew that when i purchased it it is small this is looking like a, this is only a three finger hold on this thing this is this edge right here is actually a little on the sharp side the, the, right there so if you're going to use this as a skinner you're going to be using it like this really to get into spots and things so it's relatively comfortable in that regard the size isn't horrible if you're skinning small animals. This would definitely would not want to be processing a deer with this, but other things smaller than that might be able to do so. It's shiny, and someone who doesn't know much about knives might think, ooh, this is really cool, and it's it's not that cool. It says 440 stainless, so 440 what? That's it, very just that's a very generic breakdown. Um, steel Warrior. Yeah, Steel Warrior. And it's, again, it's called the Coon Hunter. That's, that's horrible, in my opinion, which is why I bought the knife. I, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this knife. I don't. I've actually, having looked at it, and now that I've, it's in my hand, and I'm, I'm holding it, and I'm like, I'm never going to use this knife. I think I may just put it back in the packaging and donate it. Let someone else think that it's a good knife, I guess. Um. It's not like I'm going to stop other people from buying this thing. Frost Cutlery is not a good brand. Um, they come up with some goofy designs, some of which can be quite entertaining. But I've never encountered a frost knife that I would want to use on a daily basis, nor have my life depend upon, or even have to re really use use for field work and that my life didn't depend on. Um, so, yeah, this has been the very questionable Coon Hunter by Frost Cutlery.